quiet transformation in Evansville, Indiana has completely changed the way residents pay for water gushing from their taps and flushing down their drains. Upgrades at the wastewater treatment plant now save hundreds of thousands of dollars in electricity every year. Restaurants and commercial kitchens generate clean energy by recycling fats, oils, and grease. And new Automated Metering Infrastructure, or AMI, wirelessly reads 64,000 meters. The improvements are part of an energy savings performance contract with Johnson Controls. To say it's a win-win uh, situation might be trite, but nothing could be more accurate. The ESPC allowed city leaders to invest $39 million in much-needed infrastructure to advance the mayor's Smart City 2.0 initiative without pinching ratepayers' wallets. Mayors want a viable water and sewer utility, right? But it's not very sexy. No mayor wants to come in and raise water rates and raise sewer rates. By upgrading to more energy-efficient systems, the utility didn't have to raise rates. Instead, leaders are generating an estimated $3.1 million in annual energy savings over the next 20 years to pay for the improvements over time. It was a big surprise. So it's a big learning curve to learn about it. And, you know, it's sort of like, is this for real? Does this really work? It works because city leaders uncovered plenty of aging and wasteful systems starting at the wastewater treatment plant. Think of it as it's a wastewater facility, but it's actually a, a recycling center. So when people flush their toilets, it's got to go somewhere. What we do is we clean it up and put the clean water back into the river, and then we get rid of the bad stuff. We use a tremendous amount of energy to pump all this water and to process it. So one of our largest bills is electricity. To cut their bill, city leaders installed typical energy savings upgrades, such as lighting, HVAC, controls, and power factor correction. But they also invested in unconventional measures, such as valve automation and a solid waste centrifuge. When you're finished cleaning up the water, you're still left with some solid stuff. Johnson Controls helped us identify different technology for drying those solids. The treatment plant cut solid waste by 20% and, in turn, lowered the cost of hauling it away. In addition to saving energy, the plant is also producing energy. Evansville is the first city in the country to include fog, or fats, oils, and grease, in an energy savings performance contract. When restaurants and food kitchens dump their grease, it's brought to the treatment plant for processing. We have four very large million gallon tank digesters at this facility. You see the lid of one, which is right behind me here. There are, I call them bugs, eat the bad stuff in there and it creates methane. That project probably supplies 30 to 40 percent of the power at this plant. Our objective someday is to virtually be off the entire electric grid where we're self-sustaining. While most residents never see the wastewater treatment plant, they certainly get a water and sewer bill. Today that bill is more accurate. The city invested in AMI technology to install 64,000 meters and 10 wireless towers to gather real-time data. When somebody calls in and they do have a high bill, they're able to look at that and immediately tell a customer what has happened. It's like, oh, we do have to jiggle the handle every once in a while. Customers can now download a smart utility app to track usage on their own. And instead of chasing down problems, the Water and Sewer Department proactively monitors data for signs of leaks, freeing up technicians to work on scheduled tasks. The benefits beyond just the day-to-day -day operation of the utility are many. Uh, one, it meant jobs. I mean, that's a lot of meters to replace. So you have jobs, you have a reduction in CO2 emissions. So there are many benefits to the community. The renewal in Evansville didn't come without challenges. Mayor Winicky inherited the project from the prior administration and faced opposition in implementing his vision. We needed allies to help advocate for this. So we found the local unions, uh, especially Local 136, to be especially helpful to us because this meant jobs to our, to our trades. With the success of a $39 million energy savings performance contract, city leaders are already looking to the future. Phase two discussions center on capturing even more savings at the water treatment plant. 
Now that aging systems are no longer dragging down budgets, Evansville leaders are free to make strategic investments to further strengthen the local economy.